Hey everyone, it's Kitty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Panda Palette number 4 update. I honestly can't believe it's number 4. Like this is going by so fast and I'm enjoying this series. If you haven't seen my previous Panda Palette updates, I will have my Panda Palette intro video and updates 1, 2, and 3 all linked up above in the cards. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen these videos before for me and I will also link them down below. Just watch them, binge them so you can catch up and see where I'm at. And before I show you what my palette looks like this month, I'm just going to show you where I was at in the intro and updates one two and three just so you can see like how my progress has changed i feel like i've made really good progress i've panned a lot of shadows and i've just really worked through this palette i'm honestly using like shadows i wasn't using before i started this pan that Pally series which is very exciting and i feel like i'm just making like good progress we're going good we're going strong and we're making a lot of like progress going forward and also sorry about this lighting it's kind of weird it's really gloomy out but i wanted to film this today just so I can get up for you on Wednesday. Okay, so this is what my palette is looking like. I've panned, oh, I think eight shadows and everything. I've made really good progress, which I'm impressed with. And I have six shadows left and I love, and I've been honestly doing really well, which I'm really impressed with and everything. I guess I'll start off by like saying which ones I've panned. So first off, I panned Hope and everything. And I love this color for my crease. And then light pink, I've been using every day for a couple months now and I've hit a pretty good pan on this. I feel like within the next month I can get this fully panned. And then I've hit a pan on Mauve, which is such a hard shade to pan. I was literally getting frustrated with this shade because I couldn't pan it for the life of me, but I finally got it panned and I have a really good dip in it. So I feel like I could get a more pan within the next month. And I've also hit dip on Sable and Espresso. Haven't really touched black and I've panned Pewter since the last update. And I've also hit a little bit more pan on Gurna, but not really. And yeah, I feel like I've been making really good progress and I use this palette pretty much every day. So I've been making really good progress. I've been doing really well, which I'm really happy with. And so I guess I'll tell you like how I use each shade and everything like that. Like I said, I usually like start off with like pink and I will set my lid with that. And then when I had taupe, I would mix it with mauve and I would go in my crease with it and just define my crease. But now I'm just using mauve in my crease and it works really well. I love that color. It's just a very pretty color and it's great when you do mauve looks or pinky looks. Just a great shade. And then Sable and Express, I was like filling in my brows for it for a while and then that's how I got like a dip into it. But I also like use it with Garnet on my outer corner to like deepen it up and stuff like that. And today I am wearing light pink and I set with that and then in my crease I have mauve. Then this is my Laura Pro 3 palette and I love this palette as well. And so on my lid I have have light pewter and rose bronze and I just mix those together and place those on my lid. Then in my outer corner I used truffle and sable just to deepen it up and I feel like it's not like too like intense. This is actually my eye look today. This is what it's looking like. I really love it. I think it's super pretty and it's one of my favorites. And then I also mix clay with um, the mauve color again just because I wanted it to be just a little bit more warmer and everything like that and I think these two palettes together are a great combination I just really love them I think they're super pretty together and yeah there's not a ton to say because I don't know I don't really have huge updates I haven't panned every single shadow all in a month like I haven't like hit huge progress I'm kind of doing little progress each time I have panned taupe and pewter so that was a big progress for me and I've hit almost pan on light pink but it's not like majorly like oh my god I panned every shade like it's not. So I guess I'll tell you my goals for next month. Definitely will have light pink pant, I'm sure. And then I also want to hit a deeper pan on mauve and garnet. And then I think I'm going to keep working on the darker shades like sable and espresso and try to get more of a dip in it to get like a pan and everything. And I want to try to use black, but I don't really go in with black shadows. I would honestly mix it with a color just so it's not so hard. But I just want to keep like progressing with this and keep like, just keep using these shades and trying to pan them and everything like that. 
and I've mixed this with multiple different palettes just to get different looks and everything and I just it's a good way to like get through my palettes I guess I could say and yeah I don't have like big goals or anything I just want to keep my progress going and keep panning definitely I will pan light pink that shade will probably be gone within the next few uses of this palette and everything and I'm just really excited to see where my progress comes so this is my palette one more time and I just I'm really excited to see like where my progress goes or what happens with this palette you know what I mean and yeah this is my palette I'm really happy with just my progress and I think I'm doing really well so yeah that's gonna be it for my palette palette update it was pretty quick and sweet just because I don't have like too much to update you on so if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you're doing the pan the palette and what you're panning and how's your progress going what you're struggling at like how are you doing with it I would love to know and also comment down below any looks you want to see like do you want to see more looks with this palette or do you want to see any other looks and just any beauty lifestyle or random videos you want to see just let me know that down below because I love making more videos you want to see as well as videos I like to make and also please subscribe if you haven't already because I post a lot of pan the palettes unboxings beauty and lifestyle videos so definitely hit that subscribe button just so you can just see more of my videos and also hit the notification bell down below to be notified you'll just get a notification when I upload and you'll love it I usually upload Monday Wednesday Friday depending the week sometimes I don't upload on Wednesday it kind of just depends and also you can like show me your progress on Instagram you can just tag me in your post and everything my like beauty Instagram is at katiexobeautyyt it's always in like the description box and in in every video in the intro and the outro you know what I mean so yeah we can connect that way and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you're having a great day night whenever you're watching this and I will see you in my next video bye Stand by.